Okay, we're almost done and I'm glad that you are still with me. Kids, we need to talk about Gog or Magog. Our first link is an important one and it's titled Turkey, Uniting an Army of Islam to Defeat Just One Country. And you know what that one country is. That's right, Turkey is calling for a united Islamic army to invade and destroy Israel. Here are the first three paragraphs of the article. Quote, Istanbul recently hosted the Second International Islamic Union Congress, sponsored mainly by the Strategic Research Center for Defenders of Justice, or ASSAM, which it's, I guess it's Turkish, which is headed by Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan's chief military advisor, Adnan Tanriverdi, a retired lieutenant general and an Islamist. At the conference, Tanriverdi delivered a speech detailing the inner workings of the Islamic Confederal State that ASAM, A-S-S-A-M, aims to establish with 61 Muslim countries. In his address, Tanriverdi said that a rapid deployment force should be created. Judging by an article Tanriverdi penned in 2009, the purpose of this joint Islamic force is to defeat Israel, which should be made to get engaged in war, and the length of the war should be extended. If Israel, quoting him, if Israel has to call all of its reserve soldiers to duty, he explained, there will be no one left at home or in their businesses. It cannot continue like that for a long time, close quote. Of course, that's only the beginning, just the beginning. And the non-Arab Muslims will gather their forces together to invade and destroy Israel. Those of us who read the Bible know that this is the coming of Gog and Magog. And those of you who live outside of Israel will be in even greater peril because it will also be the coming of Ezekiel's fire, or Isaiah's son, depending on how you want to call that. But my book is called Ezekiel's Fire. You really need to be ready for Ezekiel's fire. You can start by reading my book on it. It's free. As I keep saying, it might save your life. I certainly hope it will. But that's Turkey. And Turkey is an important player in Gog and Magog, but the Bible also refers to a country that we all know as a complete mess right now. That, company, that country is Libya. When I first realized that Russia was backing Khalifa Haftar in eastern Libya, I realized that this helped me identify a big piece that I was missing in the Gog and Magog puzzle. All the other members of the Gog and Magog alliance had identified themselves and were moving into place, except for Libya and, well, Kush. Kush is a part of the Gog and Magog alliance, and I'm not sure whether Kush is Ethiopia, Sudan, Somalia, or another country in sub-Saharan Africa. We'll see how Kush falls into place. But we know where Libya is, and we know that Libya must be in the Gog and Magog alliance. And it looks like the one who will be bringing Libya into that Gog and Magog alliance is someone named Khalifa Haftar. And I have four links that talk about how well he is doing as he conquers the rest of Libya. The first link is this one. Libya remains a battleground eight years after Gaddafi revolt from Al Jazeera. The corrupt UN-backed government in Tripoli can't seem to get its act together, and they don't really control any part of Libya other than the outskirts of their quote-unquote capital, Tripoli. These morons can't stop fighting each other long enough to stop Haftar from taking over all of Libya, and Haftar is very good friends with Russia. Very, very good friends. Up to now, Haftar only controlled the northeast of Libya. Not now. Now he controls the southwest, too. Pretty soon, he'll have everything except Tripoli. And then Tripoli will essentially give up. They're too stupid to govern themselves, let alone hold out against Haftar. And then this next link happened. Libya's largest oil field seized by forces loyal to Khalifa Haftar, and it's from Nigerian News. Here's more on Haftar's latest achievements. 
Not only does he control the main oil terminals that are used to sell the oil that Libya produces, but now he pretty much controls the oil fields. And then we see the Russia connection in this third link. Russia TV, Haftar negotiating establishing Russian military base in Benghazi from the Libya Observer. And Russia's support of Haftar is bearing fruit. He's giving them a nice big base in Benghazi, right on the coast of the Mediterranean. Tell me again why it was such a good idea for Obama and Hillary to bomb Libya, arm the rebels, and murder Gaddafi. And Hillary gloated over murdering Gaddafi. Because, this, because of this murder, Libya will be able to join Russia and Turkey and Iran for the attack on Israel that Bi the Bible calls Gog and Magog. Oh, and the fourth link brings in another member of the Gog and Magog alliance. Again, we're talking about Libya. It's towards a larger role for Turkey in the Libyan peace process. Turkey is getting involved? Yeah, how nice. The next thing you know, Iran will be there working to make peace in Libya. And yes, things are just that ridiculous.